that reviews, yeah. Hey, it's about to get Hello everyone, welcome back to Living Life with Lisa Lisa. Hi! What's going on? Welcome back to the channel everyone. We are so happy that you all decided to come and check us out today because today y'all, we're going to be celebrating MRTV and Dr. Cowboy, Dr. Quick, Dr. Gynecologist, all of them things y'all. He got all the certification for everything that you need for a doctor, y'all. So the name of this challenge is the Cowboy Steak Reboot from Land to Sea 3K Challenge. I had to look down, y'all, because I want to make sure I said it right. It is the Cowboy Steak Reboot Land to Sea 3K Challenge, okay? So, and congratulations, Maria and Cowboy, on your 3K. So, you have to have something from the land and something from the sea. Well, they want you to have steak. It doesn't matter the size of the steak. We have a, a bone-in ribeye is what we have. Ooh, y'all, it looks so good. So, we have the bone-in ribeye. We have some crab legs. And for our vegetable, we have okra. Yeah, some okra. So you have to have a vegetable, guys. You have to have a vegetable. You have to have something from land, which is the steak. And you have to have something from the sea. And you can have crab legs. You can have shrimp. You know, whatever from the sea. And one vegetable. Also, too, guys, you have to drink. Your drink has to be a no sugar drink. Okay? So we chose H2O water. Okay? No sugar. Okay? Supposed to be a little healthy. Also, to you all, you supposed to tell a story, whether it is from land or sea, about you know a scary time, your scariest time or memorable moment. Okay, that's what MRT wants. So guess what? That's what MRTV is going to get. All right. Okay. Um, we're gonna get into grace and get into this video, y'all. Thank you, gracious Father, for the food that we're about to see. Thank you for the hands prepared. Watch over us, Heavenly Father, as He nurtures our body. In Your name, I pray always. Amen. 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 So, y'all, we gonna get into this delicious meal, and um, then we'll get into our story. Is that bad for you? For you? Huh? <laughs> is it? I pulled it too close to me. Then I'm gonna give you these because I'm sure you're gonna probably eat more than me. Just some A1. You want some A1? Yeah. I don't know what they. Y'all, we got the onions and the peppers coming yeah. through. And we're using some A1, y'all. Love some A1. On my steaks. Ooh, he giving y'all that first bite, y'all. So he giving y'all the first bite of meat. I'm going to give y'all the first bite of the veggies. There you go. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Tea. You did that with that okra down now. Oh, that good. Mm, 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 mm. Let me taste this steak. We kind of tag team with the steak, right, team? Mm -hmm. We kind of tag team with it. Oh, it's so tender, y'all. It's falling off. See the juices. Mm, y'all, look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Very good. Mm. Well seasoned, ain't it? Well. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Steak, crab leg, fried okra. <laughs> mm. See, this okra is good. Mm -hmm. Got 
guys, I don't usually put steak sauce. I ate one on my steak, but today, doing something a little different. You getting outside the little box? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, y'all. This steak is so tender. This knife is going straight, straight through it, y'all. Look at that. Peppers and onions falling off. Y'all see these peppers and these onions. Can I get some? There you go. How y'all doing today? Mm. This is good. Y'all know steak is one of my favorite meats. <laughs> Besides some good old fried chicken. Look at them onions and them peppers, y'all. Nice one. Talking about the uh the state, the ribeye state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um MRTV and Cowboy, they had some big old huge steak. They were huge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me try to hear um Crab legs. Mm-hmm. And we know they always do it. Yeah. I got them steamed um I got them steamed in what was it? Cajun seasoning, I think. Yeah. At Publix. Yeah. And then the claw. I still reheated it in the thing. I've been seeing a lot of people eating crawfish. Mm -hmm. I never had that before. Mm -hmm. I want to try it, but they make it look like it's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, not a lot of work, but it don't look like you get a lot because I guess you got to <laughs> like suck it out and then take the part out and mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah. You don't need to do all that work just to eat. Well, I'm doing work right here with the crab legs. Mm. That's a lot of meat in here. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good. All right, you all. Um, jump on this challenge. Well, one good thing about the challenge, I got you eating good. Do this challenge. Yeah. You don't eat good. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay, y'all, back to the steak. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And... We cook the steak in the oven. We put it in the oven. I can't wait to get moved in. <laughs> and we grill some steaks on the grill. Y'all. Hmm? Can't wait. Mm. Can't wait. Yeah, y'all want some okra? It's good, y'all. Fried okra. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm y'all. When I cook collard greens, this is what I add. That good old okra. Mm -hmm. There you go. I didn't know that you used those. I just got brought an uh, extra one to balance it out. I didn't know you used those. You yeah, don't feel like doing a whole lot of work. <laughs> mm. I say you didn't feel like doing a whole lot of work. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. It's working. Huh? It's working. 
work he needs to stay up here. Mm -hmm. Crab legs. I think that's the most, that's the one reason that I hear the most why people don't eat crab legs is because they don't want to work for their food. But y'all get it. I get it. I get it. So, what's one of your scariest moments on land or sea? On land. This happened on land, y'all. But I'm gonna let TK first tell it a tell. The beginning of the story about how he got my vehicle prepared to go to Texas and what happened. Oh. Hmm. She told me I got her vehicle service because her and her Bessie was going to Texas. To Texas, they check on the house. So. I got the oil change and I got the brakes redone. Well, pay the grip. Everything was good to go. And the following day, no, follow a few days, she went to her best friend's house. They had fun. Spent the night, got on the road the next morning. Okay. So, guys, in a nutshell, TK took the vehicle to get it serviced. They said that the brakes need to be replaced. So, they did the whole thing brakes, brake shoes, everything. So, we good to go now. Mm, I need some more water. So, my bestie, she decided to drive first because she knew the she knew the shortcut from her house to ten, right? I to, to I ten. Okay. So she um she drove all the way to Mississippi and y'all I'm a worry worry warrior especially when it comes to a vehicle mm. just stay gone sorry So, I'm a word warrior when it comes to vehicles and if I hear anything while I'm driving and stuff. So, we gassed up in Mississippi and I told her I would take over. So, I started driving. Doing good. And my best is supposed to be on vacation, but... She's still working, so she on and off the phone, talking to people, getting the computer out, and all of that. So, after driving for about a little bit over an hour, I realized that whenever I put my foot on the brake, it was like, I wasn't slowing up. I wasn't stopping. That's not good. So I say to her, I said, Nat, I had, I, I think the brakes are going out. I think the brakes are not working. And she told me, Lisa, what you done did over there? What you done hit? I said, I don't know. And mind you, when we're traveling to Texas, which is 
many, many hours for those that know, know. And I like to be comfortable. So I had on some little, some slides, which had about, you know, that, maybe that much of a heel on there, right? So she was like, it's probably those shoes you got on. <laughs> so I just kept putting my feet on the brake. And y'all, literally, my foot was all the way down. You know how when you press the brake? You only have to press it a little bit to stop. Well, I had to go all the way down to the floor. And I still wasn't coming to a complete stop, y'all. So now I am freaking out. And I'm at, and I'm doing this. Doing this on the brake. Because when you brake like that, you jerk. You automatically jerk. You automatically move. And I kept doing that. And I was looking at her. And she wasn't doing that. I said, you don't feel that? You don't feel that? And she's going to say, yeah. Which I know she did. Because they say, even TCAM, say I over-exaggerate things. Which sometimes I do. I, I have to agree. I, I do. But this particular day, your girl was for real. <laughs> so, we pull over in Louisiana, I think it was. Yeah, Baton Rouge. We pull over to a... I guess a, a, a oil change place. And so I pull up and I told the guy that, you know, I got the brake warning and I need him to check the brake. So he said, well, we don't do that. But Walmart is right there. They do everything over there. So it took us a good, well, before we pulled off, my bestie said, pull over here. Let me get out and check something. So she gets out. She look around, she look inside, the drivers make sure I hadn't bumped no nothing to make the brakes not work. What in the world could I have bumped in the car to make the brakes not work? <laughs> so y'all, I am panicking. So she was like, let me drive, let me die. I said, ah! I said, no, mm -mm. I said, I'm going to drive because I already know how and where my heart was racing. And with me being on the passenger side and she already ain't believing me how serious <laughs> this is. Oh, no, I'm not going to let you get up on the third wheel. <laughs> so we fight traffic for a good 20 minutes trying to get over there to Walmart. Get over there to Walmart and they say, they don't deal with brakes. I'm still mm, pressing all the way down to the floor, doing it like this. Because I'm scared I'm about to hit the person in front of me. And I'm saying, oh, 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 stop, stop car, stop car, stop car, stop car. And she laughing. She laughing. Because she think I'm playing. She think I'm over exaggerating. So, Walmart don't deal with brakes, y'all. So, I got T on the phone. And he's saying, just find a brake place. Just find a brake place. So, my bestie, she just got her a new phone. And so, she ain't programmed everything. So, she can't look up where stuff is. So... TK, being the smart person that he is, and knowing the highways and byways and stuff, he led us to one, which was on the same highway, thank you, Jesus, which was on the same highway, just five minutes up the road. It was a, was it a Midas or something? Midas. It was a Midas. Pull in there. And the guy's just standing there. <laughs> hey, I'm a customer driving up. You come see what the customer needs. So, my heart is already racing. I'm scared. I'm about to cry. And they just standing there. So, I yell out the one and say, hey, I need help. Can you come help 
me. <laughs> but this time, Bessie done got out and went on the inside. So I said, sir, this brake light is on. I can barely stop. I'm pushing my feet all the way down to the floor. And I'm barely stopping. So he go talk to another guy and then they come. Then he tells me to pull forward. Pull forward. So I pull forward and sign language or what you call it? Well, sign language, I guess sign language, yeah. Sign, we're going to say sign language. Sign language tells a lot. So after they both body look, body language, that's it, <laughs> body language. Body language tells a lot, y'all. So they done looked up on it there and everything. And from their body language, y'all, wasn't good. Wasn't good. I jumped out the truck and I said, what's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? I said, don't sugarcoat nothing to me. I said, because I'm already scared. I said, don't sugarcoat nothing to me. Just tell me what, what it is. What, what it is. Tell me. So, he says your, what do you call it? I can't remember the terminology. It was a cap that, um, Keeps the brake shoes and brake stuff in place. The caliber. The caliber. The brake caliber. Wow. He says your brake caliber is gone. It's, it's gone. He said it's a wonder you made it here safely. So my eyes done watered up. And then I turned around from them and I said thank you God. Thank you God for giving me a brain to know that something was wrong and I needed to pull off of the exit to try to find some help. Now Bessie over here is still working and still saying ain't nothing wrong. We about to die. We finna die and she don't even know it. She said ain't nothing wrong. I'm just exaggerating. So she back on the phone working again y'all. So the man said, okay, we'll get out. We're going to put it in. We're going to pull it up there. So they put it up there on the thing. And T going to upset me even more. Because he swear every time I take the vehicle somewhere, they trying to, they telling me more information and trying to get me to spend more money than I need to spend. So he talking about no, they don't need to do all that. They don't need to do all that. They, they just need to put some brake fluid in there. What hell? The brake fluid ain't got nowhere to stay. That's the problem. The caliber is gone and all the brake fluid done leaked out. So I was like, T. And I was loud with him on the phone like this. I was like, T. I am not getting back on that highway. And these people saying that the caliber is gone. And that's the reason why there is no brake fluid. So with that being said, oh y'all, let me call. I down. asked her to tell them to take pictures uh -huh. of what was needed. Better yet, I asked the manager, "Can I go out there where they had my vehicle at, so I can see?" And I need them to explain to me. And tell me exactly what they're looking at and what was wrong. Y'all, I ain't know what I was looking at. But guess what? What I was looking at, it didn't look good. <laughs> it did not look good. So, I had the workman to talk to TK on the phone and tell him. And then I sent TK the pictures and stuff. So, the people who originally did the work, TK called them on the phone. And they said, hey, you know, we apologize. You know, we're all human. And just whatever the bill is there, we'll just take care of it. But y'all, almost three hours later, everything was repaired. Everything was good. Bessie said, you want me to drive? I said, nope. <laughs> Say nope. I said I'll drive. <laughs> I'm gonna drive all the way. 
And y'all, let me tell you, I was still so paranoid until I kept breaking. I said, you see how you jerking now? That's how you should have been jerking three hours ago. <laughs> She said, I'm so sorry. She said, I'm so sorry, friend. She told me, but you know how you be exaggerating stuff. And I just thought this was one of them times. She said, but yeah, you saved our life. I said, no, God saved our life. I said, because he told me to get off on the next nearest exit. And I got off. And I thank you, God. Y'all, let me tell you. Y'all better stay prayed up. Pray, pray, pray. Have God in your life. He saved our life. He oh, saved our life that day because they just kept saying, I, I really don't understand how y'all made it this far. How y'all made it this far. Y'all, so that was my scariest moment that I will never, ever forget. I will never. Y'all should have seen me out there on that highway putting my feet down to the to the floor and do we in the car, please? Please don't be in the car. Stop, 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 Troy, stop, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> and she over there laughing to me. You want me to try? <laughs> no. <laughs> so that was my scariest moment, y'all. So it's just, it's just so. I don't know what the word is for it, y'all. It's just so unreal how you you take your vehicle somewhere to license and certify people. Who's supposed to know what they are doing. And human error is there. Human error is there. But I'm just saying y'all. We entrusted these people. Which we will use them again. You know what I'm saying? Because it is human error. It was just a mistake. You know that happened. You know. Because we're all human. But it's just. I don't know. I don't know y'all. But hey. I'm here to tell the story. <laughs> That's my story, y'all. And on that note, I need some water. I know, Bestie, you probably watching this and you probably cracking up. And she just kept saying, you saved our life. You saved our lives. Yes, because I was not going to listen to you to keep on going. She was telling me to keep on going. I was not going to keep on going. And I'm thinking I'm going to hit the person from me. We on the expressway, y'all. On 10. Going to Texas. When you know, you know, y'all. Well, all right. Mr. Smith, as y'all can see, he has dominated this meal. He has dominated this meal. Look at that bone, y'all. And I still got meat and um, <laughs> a crab leg left and okra, y'all. But, yeah, that was my story, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it because it, in fact, happened, y'all. And that, I do that with my, with my body with illness. Something wrong, guess what? I'm going right to the doctor because I don't know what's wrong. That's what you're supposed to do. Yes, yes, yes. And finally, when everything was over, call Mr. Smith, send me back on the road again. All right, you all. So thank you so, so much for coming to our premiere today. And don't forget to go over and support and check out MRTV and Cowboy. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you know when we post and give this video a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up leave us a comment down below and share us out share us out and until next time stay safe and be blessed bye bye We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. We just live in life. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. We just live in life. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. We just live in life. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. Subscribe. 
lot of reviews, yeah Hey, it's about to go down, have a good time All you gotta do, yeah, is scroll on down and click that button If you wanna see more dope content and that's for sure Tell a friend so they can tell more And make sure you share before you go Comment if you like what you see We making moves, ain't no time to take seats We living life all 2020 Lisa, Lisa gon' talk we to the peace life with Lisa, Lisa Hey, it's nice to meet ya We just living life with Lisa Lisa, we just living life. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa. We just living life. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa. We just living life. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa. We just living life. Make sure you subscribe.